fighting, practicing. 7 a.m. Very humid, very humid. Low this leg. Move your hands back. Starting early. 6 30 a.m. I still feel that, you know, that bitter taste. My good friend won. <laughs> I like the fight. So I was 6 4, 4 1 up. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to 10 Fitman weekly vlog number 15. And today's topic will be how to recover from a very very tough loss and after you play a very long and exhausting match and you lose how to approach that situation and how to recover. So let's get into it. As I'm pretty sure every single player on this planet had these uh, moments where you have a very very tough match and you lose and then it feels really really tough and you know you kind of lose the motivation instantly many players they want to give up you know you want to leave your rackets never ever pick them up again and that's pretty much how I felt and I played that match yesterday so today is the day after and I still feel uh, I still feel that, you know, that bitter taste, it's tough, it's tough, especially if I keep thinking about this uh, moment in the match where I had a chance and, by the way, it was a second round match in a qualifying draw, it features a tournament, so $15,000, and I played against a very good player and my good friend from Macedonia, and his name is Stefan Mitso and he has a HP ranking at the moment. I played him before, but long time ago, maybe like six, seven years ago, I won in a very tough match, so that's, I expected similar match this time, and that's exactly what happened. Um, still, I, I had a very good chance to close the match in two sets, I was 6-4, 4-1 up, and even had a, a serve then, had some game points, and it was it was very very close. It, it could have been an easy match, but that's that's then. It's, uh, he had this mindset that he has nothing to lose, and he started playing more relaxed. And I was not able to close it, close the match then. So the easy match turned into a very very tough battle. And so he won the second set, seven five, and then the third set was a, a big roller coaster for both. We were both up and down with a break, coming back. I was serving a 5 4 for the match, 30 all. He had some lucky shot, hit the line. And you know, this is how it goes one or two points beside the match. And in the tie break, I was also 5 2 up at 6 5 and match point. And you know, at the end, he won the match. So, unfortunately for me, you know, it didn't go my way. Uh, this time he won and you know well deserved but I want to talk about this uh, feeling after and you know what's the right way to approach this situation so I would say first you want to cool down a bit you don't want to think too much about it and try to relax and do your physical recovery and that is you know good stretching and then uh, trying to get some good food some good nutrition and also do a good ice bath, it's, that's what I did yesterday, it helped a lot because my body was really really hurting. We played a more than four hours match and yeah, it, it's, it's definitely one of the toughest matches I've played in my life and as such it's, it's an amazing experience and I'm grateful that I had this, you know, this match. So what we do after that, after recovery, you know, you're gonna have this bitter taste and a very tough feel, you know, you're gonna feel down, you're gonna keep thinking about the points, you had a chance to win a match, you have a chance to close the match, uh, but the right way is to think of that as, as just a normal thing, and it's something that everybody experiences at some point, it's just one of the steps in the process, and, you know, it's the way you grow, it's the way you learn, and, you know, become better as a player and as a coach if you're coaching uh, so 
I think you should always look at the good things, positive things. In my case, that will be, even though I didn't close it in the second set, you know, my level didn't drop. Actually, the third set was maybe even the best tennis for both of us. And, you know, we, we displayed some really good shots and, you know, both of us came, came up with some great, uh, difficult shots and points. And I'm glad I participated in, in such a match, so that's a good thing. Uh, another thing is that, you know, try to learn what can you do differently in, um, next time when a similar match happens. And that might be for me, when I'm able to close the match, I should try to push it a bit more and, you know, be aggressive until the end and show the opponent that I'm ready to close it out. Uh, I was a bit neutral at that stage. I was playing maybe similar tennis instead of trying to close it out. So next time I will change that. So that's that's a good thing. And then for the big points in the third set, in the tie break, you know, it's it's really sometimes a bit lucky or unlucky. I'm not uh, looking for any excuses. It's just the way it is. But in general, I think at this point when you have a match point or you're two points away, you just have to make decision, you just have to decide what point you want to play and you stick with it and no matter what happens, uh, you don't get uh, frustrated or disappointed because at that point you made the decision and you had to stick with it and this is the right approach. Uh, sometimes you'll make it, sometimes not. Uh, and this is the beauty of this sport, you know, I would say beauty, because obviously for me it was a very difficult loss, uh, but uh, in general it's, it's why we love this sport, it's so unpredictable, it's never finished until the last point. And I think also about these uh, situations when we have such a difficult feelings, it's how quickly you can recover, so you want to get this positive thinking and positive vibes so you can come back uh, quicker and stronger after that. Of course, it's much better if you win this match and you can have more confidence. And this is actually another point. If you win this close and long and tough matches, you save match points. This is where, where you build that very important confidence, you know, that uh, is such a important characteristics of uh, big players. But this, in order to get this, you need to also lose some matches. Uh, nobody won all the close matches and that's how, it, that's how it is. So next time, you know, you hope that this kind of matches will go your way and that you will be able to close it. Yes, that's, that's pretty much it. I would really like to hear some of your experiences, guys, and what kind of matches you had. Either you won or lost, you know, some extreme scores or like very long matches. I would like to hear about it and how you felt during those matches and maybe what you learned from them. And definitely, you know, feel free to ask anything in the comment sections and uh, give me any advice for the future vlogs. I really enjoy to share my, you know, experiences and my thoughts and maybe help you guys to, you know, get better in every aspect of this game. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And for today, I will try to relax more and try not to think about those critical moments of the match, the match points, and just see it as a great experience, that, as something that, you know, make me grow as a player, as a coach. And as I mentioned before, just as one more step in the process, one more step forward. And as we always say, it's every day small steps. And we are getting better each day and we are becoming unstoppable. So I hope you liked it, guys. And definitely click that like button. You can share the video with your friends. And if you didn't so far, please subscribe. We'll keep posting good videos, uh, keep posting different different types of vlogs, and we'll prepare some documentaries. So until then, keep working hard, don't give up, learn to come back stronger from tough losses, and I will see you soon in our next vlog.